Welcome to Awesome Currently Subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to send data to a website using sockets in Python. So first we are going to import socket module. Import socket. And now we are just going to print the message. Creating socket. And now we are going to create socket by passing in socket AFI net family address. AFI net is an address family that is used to designate the type of addresses that our socket can communicate with, such as uh, Internet Protocol version 4 addresses. So to open a socket or create a socket, we use a socket class constructor that set the family socket type and protocol as a parameter. So we are going to pass in socket and then say sort. Socket dot socket and pass in socket dot socket dot HF. I need constant and socket dot soft string. And now we can print the message that socket created. Print socket created. And we are going to connect to a website. Connecting to And our remote host will be Google. This is a dot google.com. And port will be AP. So we are connecting to google.com on the port AP. And now we are going to call connect method to make a connection. So our sock dot connect and and this will be our host uh, remote host. Of one point one and can be 
to turn a new one. Uh, host. Then uh, can we turn new line? And we will have our remote host. Now we are going to uh, send this uh, get request with our socket by using send method. And our request dot encode. Encode our request and send it to the server. After this, the uh, server should respond and we will get our data. Sock dot by using sock dot receive method and this is the maximum amount of data that we can read and then we can print content or and convert into a string and five data and then we can print the content length. Content length by using length function and passing on data. And at the end, we are going to close the socket. And we are going to call a close method on the socket. Now we can run our program and check the tools. Here, for instance, syntax is the same. This is a function, a short function. Save it and run our program. And after I run my program, you can see over here, creating socket, socket created, connected to remote host. And connection is OK. And to get request and the data coming back from the server and the content length and the message closing the socket. So this way you can use a socket to send a data to a website server. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my channel, Ask Thanks for watching.